Hello everybody, I'm Darren Cooper and this is your Extra Scoop on NorthJersey.com. It's a big weekend for soccer, with both county tournaments hitting the final rounds. To say at county, the most intriguing matchup is the girls' semifinal where unbeaten Eastern Christian meets Clifton. Last season, the two teams met in the semifinals and the Eagles dominated the game, only to walk off the field after a 1-0 loss. Coach Barry Veenster and his team is undefeated this year and has been itching to get another crack at the Mustangs. Veenstra, the only coach in Eagles soccer history, has led the girls to one county title in 2000. He jokes that he's closing in on 200 losses in his career, but few have stung as much as the one to Clifton last season. Soccer can be a cruel game sometimes, where you can control the ball, outshoot your opponent, but make one mistake and still lose. It seems the soccer fates owe the Eagles on Saturday. Earlier this week, I wrote a column about the fate of gymnastics in North Jersey. Once a robust sport, there are now only 10 teams in the area, four in Bergen County. Pascack Valley Regional has won the last two team state titles, but couldn't find a coach when they had an opening and almost had to cancel its program. The sport faces a tough road with athletes forced to choose between club and high school teams, and the equipment used at the high schools is sometimes substandard. To keep the sport alive, the NGSIA should consider amending its co-op rule and let some of the bigger schools combine for the smaller sports. There are a lot of talented, passionate athletes participating in gymnastics, and they should be allowed to continue. Be sure to follow me on Twitter.com slash VarsityAces and read the Varsity Aces blog where we'll have full coverage of the Bergen Catholic St. Joe's football game on Saturday. I'm Darren Cooper, and that's your Extra Scoop on NorthJersey.com.